Welcome to the city of Jaipur in the state of Rajasthan here in India. I brought a small group of devotees down from uh, Sri Vrindavan Dham for a one or two day excursion. Uh, Jaipur is famous for many things. It's famous for its tourism. Thousands and thousands of tourists come here every year to see the beauty of this uh, city. It's famous for its textiles. It's famous for its jewelry. But for uh, Gaudiya Vaishnav, devotees to the Lord, the followers of Lord Chaitanya, the city is very important because here uh, a number of the original deities of Krishna established by the six Goswamis of Vrindavan are being worshipped. In the late 1600s there was a, a foreign invasion in India and the devotees had to remove uh, these deities, a number of these deities from Vrindavan and they were given protection here in the state of Rajasthan because Rajasthan is known for its Rajputs, its powerful Kshatriya uh, rulers who in those days, in the late 1600s, they were all great devotees of Krishna. So one devotee in particular, one king in particular, his name was Jai Singh II, he actually built this city to protect those, uh, those deities. In particular, in particular uh, Lord Govinda, or Govindaji as he's known affectionately by the, the devotees here. Uh, when Jai Singh built the city, he built the temple of Govindaji right in the center and everything else spread out very harmoniously from that, that center. And his own palace was uh, just very close to the uh, temple of Lord Govinda, Radha Govinda, eventually. And every morning when he would get up, the first thing he would see, he'd walk out on his veranda, the first thing he would see was the darshan of, of Govinda Dev. So, he loved Krishna very much and he loved the deity of Govindaji very much, so he established that worship. And this was a real ruler, you could say a, a king. In the ancient days, kings were called Rajarishis. They weren't just expert administrators, but administrators, but they were also great devotees of the Lord. Rajarishi means a saintly person sitting on the throne. So he not only built the, the temple of Govindaji, the city to protect him, there's a huge wall. Uh, well, there was a huge wall going around the city. They painted it pink it, and later on, centuries later, to receive some important persons coming to the city. It's known as the Pink City. But um, he also established the worship of the deity of Krishna here. And um, as a result, the people of Jayapur, they, their love for Govindaji and the other deities of Vrindavan that are present here, Gopinath and Dhammadar and Radhavinod, very, very deep. When I first came to India in the early 1970s as an aspiring devotee, and devotional service is all about devotion or love for Krishna, I got an overwhelming experience by coming here because when I entered the temple one morning, I noticed that 
thousands and thousands and thousands of people were pouring into the temple before they went to work. Before they go to work, they want to receive the blessings of the Lord. And when I came back in the evening, the same thing happened. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people came to say goodnight to Lord Govinda, Radha, to Radha Govinda. And I, their, their devotion was genuine. I could see the way they were singing and the songs, so much feeling, so much emotion, so much devotion. I even saw sometimes people crying and I thought, this is real bhakti, this is real devotion, this is something I'd like to have. So every year I make it a point when I come to India, make it a point to come down here and, and you could say just revive that sense, that, that um, original feeling I had of so overwhelming devotion for the Lord. I come down here and in the association of the people of Jaipur, I, I, I reignite that fire. Bhakti Thakur said one time that devotional service is something that's imbibed from other devotees. Mama, mama. Mandire, Mandire, Mama Mana Mandire, Mama Mana Mandire, Rahani Shri, Krishna Murari, Shri Krishna Murari. Bhakti Priti Mala Chanda Bhakti Priti Mala Chanda So this is kind of like a, a second Vrindavan, a Gupta Vrindavan, a hidden Vrindavan, not far from Vrindavan. From Vrindavan, it's about uh, three or four hours away. And I've all, I've sometimes wondered how it is that um, you know the deities never went back to Vrindavan. They're the original deities, four, four or five de Vrindavan deities that are here. Why isn't it they, they haven't gone back? Because Krishna is controlled by the love of his devotees. Although he's the supreme controller, he's controlled by the love of his devotees. And that's very much prominent, very much present here. I think in this video, you'll see how much love the people of, of Jaipur have for Govindaji and the other deities. And that's why they stay here. And that's why I brought a small group of, here, small group of devotees here to get that Vrindavan experience here in Rajasthan. Shri Shri Radha Govinda Deva Ki, Shri Shri Radha Gopinath Ki, Shri Shri Radha Damodar Ki, Shri Shri Radha Vinod Ji Ki, Shri Radha Prabhupada Ki, Thay Go Premanandi Hari Hari Roho. Krishna Murari, Krishna Murari.